we will talk about acrylamide. Acrylamides are compounds which are formed when food is cooked at high temperature. And why it's important at all? Because uh, acrylamides are carcinogens and carcinogens means that they increase risk of different type of cancers. And how are acrylamides are formed? When amino acids and carbohydrates react on high temperature, they create uh, acrylamides which are important and strong carcinogenic. And how can we understand or guess if this food contains acrylamides? Very simple test is that if you look at food and it's crispy, it's brown color and it has favorable flavor, it means that and it's roasted or baked or fried, it means that it contains high amount of acrylamides. Classical example is French fries or uh, crisps or chips. So different types of bakery products usually contains high amount of acrylamides. And what we know, what meta-analysis we have about acrylamides, they increase risk of endometrial cancer in women around 15%. And it's important that these women in this study we are not smokers and in such women acrylamides increase the risk of endometrial cancer around 15%. It increases risk of kidney cancer also around 12%, esophageal cancer, colorectal cancer around 10%. So these numbers are very important. And that's why, uh, that's why acrylamides are considered as carcinogen, possible carcinogen, according to authorities. International Agency for Research on Cancer consider it to group to a carcinogen. It means possible carcinogen. What it means? It means that acrylamide, uh, acrylamide shows uh, strong carcinogenic effect in animal studies but we have no conclusive effect in human studies that's why it is considered possible carcinogen and other possible carcinogens are red meat for example which increases risk of gastrointestinal tract cancer especially colorectal cancer also hot beverage if beverage is more than 65 degrees celsius it increases risk of esophageal cancer and certain types of electromagnetic radiation for example cell phone radiation especially when person is talking too much and uh, phone is near to uh, his or her bra uh, brain it increases risk of gliomas and acoustic neuromas and it's also considered um, uh, it's also considered as a possible carcinogen uh, and what we can say that what is safe dosage of acrylamide we have no safe dosage but we have tolerable dosage and it's considered around 28 micrograms per day person who weighs around 70 kilograms so and if we want real life example french fries contains medium sized french fries contains around 50 micrograms of acrylamides and it means that if you ate 50 uh, if you ate medium size french fries a day you already get almost double amount of tolerable dosage of acrylamides also 100 grams of bread also contains roughly 30 micrograms of acrylamide it means that bakery products generally contain, uh, are too high in acrylamide and they are not safe also duration matters uh, the longer is fried um, food uh, there is higher amount of acrylamide but we should say that sometimes two or three minutes of frying is enough to form acrylamide, especially in case of potato. 
and temperature matters also a lot because acrylamide formation starts when temperature rises more than 120 degrees celsius or 248 fahrenheit and when you see bakery products especially bread and pastry uh, they are dark brown it means they contain high amount of acrylamide which is totally unfavorable and it's dangerous for your health and if we say what is 100 percent prevention of acrylamide formation if you want fry, fried products you can't you can prevent it 100 percent but if you want uh, if you want real prevention is boiling you just need to boil something and not uh, and not fry something uh, if you want to prevent acrylamide formation also it's better to fry whole grains instead of refined grains because whole grains contains also dietary fiber and dietary fiber inhibits absorption of acrylamides they inhibit partially of course but it's still important amount also you can pre-soak uh, grains into water and it means that stretch this carbohydrates will dissolve into water and you lose important amount of stretch and you can decrease acrylamide formation around 50 percent it's also important amount and we maybe you ask that acrylamide is only danger if we fry something or there is still uh, other problems yes we have other concerns also for example if you frying or roasting uh, or baking meat you get heterocyclic amines which also carcinogenic and in and it increased risk of colorectal cancer and gastric cancer another problem is polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons it's formed especially when you frying or roasting meat in high temperature or uh, fire is di in direct contact with meat and fat you get and a smoke is created you get polycyclic aromatic aromatic hydrocarbons which also are carcinogenic and another problem is aldehyde formation uh, aldehydes are formed when you using same oil repeatedly or oil ha ha has contact to high temperature prolonged period of time you get aldehydes which are also carcinogenic that's all i wanted to say thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now